Well, welcome to another fireside chat. I'm thoroughly enjoying these uh, these events. Um, and today, I just want to give you a bit of a oh, maybe it's a bit of a personal story. Um, but I'll tell you, there, you know, there's every once in a while I go through a time of change, and it could be welcome change, <laughs> planned change, unwelcome change, unplanned change. It could be something like you know going on vacation. It could be something like something happens, uh, the car breaks down or a, a big project comes down the pike. My mind tends to get really, really going. I, I, I'm a never rest person and I, uh, I'm always thinking um, lots of things going on in my mind, change directions, Might, maybe we should do that, maybe we should do the other thing. Oh, I, I love ideas and I like pondering things. I, I love problems because problems are a challenge, uh, but they tend to begin to ruminate my mind. And I come up, I spend a lot of time, you know, occupied in my mind all hours of the day and night. Oh, and then there's something else. I always have opinions. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a person of a lot of opinions. They, they may not be good opinions, but they are mine. I come from a rich family heritage of having opinions. Uh, you know, when these types of things happen, my mind gets going day and night. And when lots of things are going on around, fortunately, from time to time, I'll remember a simple scripture or a simple passage of scripture. And God will bring me back to something that I need to be brought back to. So here's one recently that I was brought back to. And it's Psalm 131. It's really a, a simple, super short psalm that really centers me or brings me back to where I, I guess I ought to be. So I thought I'd, I'd share that psalm with you. I, I, first off, I'll let you know it's a psalm, what's called a psalm of ascent. I mentioned this a few weeks ago. Psalms of ascent are, are ones which were hopeful psalms. They were psalms that the Jews would sing over and over again as they looked forward to and anticipated in getting together again with God's people and in God's presence. And so here's how it goes. In fact, it's, it's titled in my Bible, Childlike Trust in the Lord. It says, O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my eyes haughty, nor do I involve myself in great matters or things too difficult for me. Or oh, right there, it's kind of got me already because my, my mind tends to be caught up in things that are like way over my head. Uh, so for example, this whole current coronavirus thing, I don't know if you didn't notice, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a historian. I'm not an epidemic, uh, epi I don't even know how to say the word epidemiologist. And yet I have so many thoughts going through my mind and so many things that I think everybody ought to do. And I, I know exactly what the political leaders should do, at least in my own mind. You think, you see, these things are too difficult for me. They are. I might even have an opinion that's worth listening to. Some of my ideas might be right. Quite honestly, they're above me. They're too difficult. I can't solve it. This Psalm says, I don't think about those things. It goes on to say, surely I have composed and quieted my soul like a weaned child rests against his mother. It's a great picture, by the way. I mean, we tend to think of the child leaning up against his mother, but the operative term is my soul. Because if I change the way that I think, if I set aside all of the mental gymnastics, if I take a break, my soul then gets a break. It's not just that my mind is at ease. My soul is in a better place. My soul is like a weaned child. This Psalm is only three verses. It ends with, O oh Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. It's, a, it, it, it's hope. It's I mean, I, I don't know how much hope you have for what our future is like around here. I mean, I have hope. But to tell you the truth, my real hope is in the one who is eternal. My real hope is in the one who really is in control. 
And he is. God is really in control in spite of our best efforts to wrest it out of his control and to make things happen. God really does know what he's doing. My life finds a new place of peace and tranquility when I find my place of peace and rest in God. I wonder if you would too. And by the way, Psalm of Ascent means hope for the future of when we can be together again. You know when that time is? We have a parking lot service, a drive-in church service coming up again this coming Sunday, 1030. I hope you'll come and I hope you'll let some friends know because if we can't all be in the same building, at least we can be in the same parking lot. Let's take a moment to pray together. So Jesus, we thank you that you are in control. You're not pacing back and forth you're sitting comfortably in your throne. Your word says that you laugh at your enemies. And all of the plans that we seem to be so likely to come up with and all these thoughts in our mind, they're subject to you. So God, for a moment, for an hour, for a day, help us to find that place where our soul is at rest, where we're not thinking about things that are too difficult too hard, above our pay grade, and especially the things that are really your domain. Help us to find yourself at peace and at rest, and we'll have greater hope then. Pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.